Yeah. Every time I they hope audio. you find audio. yourself. Yeah. I yeah. hope you find yourself. Okay. I hope yeah. you take your mask off. Q Jerry. Okay, I almost got banished. <laughs> <laughs> that I bend down the village. <laughs> Have you ever cheated? Cheated? What does that mean? <laughs> Reincarnated. I'm uh, 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 I need all my face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, we in the world, man. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know what you're doing in your own world. Me neither. You know, you could be doing farming. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like, I, th- I think farming is uh, it's one of the greatest things a man can ever do in his life. God's gift. Even if you are, you're the lady. Yeah, like, I don't know. Probably a man lady, but farming is... It's for everybody. Everybody is included in farming. Trans people. You know. Yeah, they got a farm. LGBT. Like, what would you farm? What would I farm? Yeah. Um, that's actually a deep question. Would you farm potatoes? I wouldn't farm potatoes. Why? Uh, I don't want to actually farm things that, like, are hard. I couldn't, I could, bro. I couldn't, what, what, what do you mean hard? I, like, I, like, I couldn't be a farmer, honestly. Like, for vegetable, fruits and vegetables, I wouldn't farm those things. I think I'd farm, like, actual flowers, maybe. Like, you, you, don't, you don't farm flowers. Do you not? They're not farm. What about people that have, like, sunflowers that are, like. It's not farming, it's just planting. Oh, yeah, kind of, you can use sunflowers for oil, man. Okay, 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 that's farming. Yeah. That's farming. But why would you not farm, like, potatoes? I just never, I just never found that. Like I don't wanna work hard, dog. Dude, like like be on a farm. Okay, so so but I'm I'm saying what if I own look if I owned a farm and I had people working on my farm. Yeah. I think I would farm strawberries. Strawberries? Why strawberries? I don't know. There's something cool about them. Like, no, strawberries are overrated. They don't even taste nice. I'm not saying that they they taste nice. I think they look cool. They look like a cool fruit. Out of all the fruits, there's not a lot of fruits. Yes, but then but then I feel like. Strawberries are catfish fruit. Yeah, but that's the world we live in. Like, the world of catfish. Cat- strawberries are like the Instagram of fruits. And I like Instagram. So there we go. No. No? What fruit would you farm? Potatoes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Okay, it's not a fruit, but if I am a farmer. If you are a farmer, you're going for potatoes. I- I'll go for potatoes. Okay, that's fine. And my reason being, mm-hmm. potatoes, they can make a lot of stuff. Chips, vodka. <laughs> Um, you can make vodka, vodka with chips. Yeah. You're with uh with potatoes. Yeah. Damn. More reasons to farm potatoes. Why were you using just chips and then then then? You can do chips. You can do um. You can do mash. Oh yeah, mash of course. So you can make a salad with potatoes. Yeah. You right. can make chips. You can make uh. I don't know. You can make a lot of things with, with potatoes, man. They can become anything. Yeah, potato might be a top five spot, eh? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a top five for sure. You get what I'm saying? So like this, this, this I think there's a lot of demand for potatoes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah, man, if you are a farmer out there, I'm just recommending, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, farm potatoes, man. Farm potatoes. Farm potatoes. Or strawberries. That's no. Tasty. No. Cool. If, you're, if you're a bad farmer, yeah, do strawberries. No, if you just like the vibes. Vibes of farming? Yeah, strawberries, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, but it, yeah, I've, I've, my mom's farmed strawberries and they, they came out just, they, they made me happy seeing them. Where, where does she farm the strawberries? Just in our garden. You, you guys have a garden? Yeah. Like you just have like a place ah, at the back. Jerry, we've been over this. My life is good. My life is good. But you, you can okay. You can't have a garden in the city. Of course you can. There's not big, a huge. Okay, how, okay. How big is the land? It's not that big, but it's like it's enough to like we can make a little cabbage patch there. Damn. Yeah. You know because here's the thing: some people don't have land, man. You know, in our mm-hmm. country, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And I just saw this lady next door, right? Next door. Next door. She's uh-huh. she's got a farm. Uh huh. She farms on a balcony. Okay. Like she shares a cabbage on the balcony, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I don't know, people, people need land, man. And I, I don't think like balconies are that reliable. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you farm cabbages on the, on the balcony, what if the balcony falls? Wait, what level is she on? Yeah, uh, the first or second level? This is the fourth level that we are in. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So what's the level she on? She's also on the fourth? Yes. Oh. She's next door. But how much cabbage does she have? I don't know, probably, probably, I think 17 cabbages. Are you friends with her? We no, should... I, don't, I don't know. Eh? Oh. You, you can go and uh, ask her. I was going to say, what, we should check in and just be like, we can ask. For cabbages? It, no, not ask for cabbages, but just ask like the logistics of Oh, how, how, how it works. Farming cabbages in a complex, how does it, you know, the good, the bad and the ugly? What is, for me, I just think that I'm just scared that the balcony might fall. I think, I think 
the builders that build balconies yeah. plan that it can hold more than just cabbages. But I don't think they planned for the balconies to hold cabbages. Yes, it, but like imagine like when you have a party, now. Yeah. I'm sure like up to 20 people could probably stand on your balcony before it collapses. So Okay, fine. And I'm people I'm pretty sure people are heavier than the average cabbage. So Okay, but then what if you want to farm things that are heavier than cabbages are or like something that's not planned of that scale? Then she'll then she'll plan she'll she'll have less of those things. So <laughs> if she has a bunch of if she wants to plant watermelons, yeah. she'll only have six watermelons, not twenty watermelons. Damn. But then that's limiting. It is, but then like you said, people need more land and we're limited to what we have. So yeah. you know, we make a plan. Would you farm on a would you farm on a balcony? If I if I I told you I don't want to farm. Okay. But if I had to, yes I would. Okay, fair. Mm-hmm. But it's just a thing, man. It's uh what I'm seeing right now, I think uh I think balconies are gonna become the future. <laughs> no, they will be the future of farming. Because this is the thing, because of lack of land, right? Mm-hmm. Then people are gonna be looking for apartments that have big balconies mm-hmm. so that they can farm on a bigger scale. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you're selling an apartment that has no balcony, no value. Mm-hmm. I was watching a video about architecture. Yeah. And I saw that like in the video they were talking about the the concept of making these mega cities where the the buildings that they have, the sky like everyone's pretty much living in skyscrapers. Yes. And the skyscrapers go up and up and up and like, yeah. like, just keep on going. And like the higher they are, the more like factors to live up there that you need. So you need to have like oxygen tanks and all of these other things so that you can make sure that you can maintain that kind of living. Isn't there no oxygen up there? The, isn't it the oxygen is thinner the higher you go up? So the, the concept of these, these, these skyscrapers go past the stratosphere and they just like go for very, very long. And that might be the future of where architecture is going. So when you talk about the idea of a balcony, yeah. also being able to like maintain land and stuff, I always think like I was just thinking about the idea of like, yo, how would they be able to like, because eventually like even with, um, kind of is that guy, Elon Musk, yeah. he wants to farm in space. He, he wants to like, conquer Mars, right? Yes. And then people are going to be farming in space and all of that other stuff. So it's just like interesting concepts like that where I'm just like, I think we'll, I, I don't know if we're going to have a land problem forever. No, no, but then if you can farm on a balcony on, the, on, a, scra- on a skyscraper, then that's how you get oxygen. That's dope. So therefore, more people need to farm on balconies. Oh. Uh, because a, a, a plant takes out oxygen uh-huh. and takes your, 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 your uh, carbon dioxide. What is it? Carbon, di- <laughs> carbon dioxide. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, so, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think, like, balcony farming is the, is, is, is the future. It's the future. It's the way. You There's get what I'm saying? There's actually a lot of things that, like, we... Like South Africa is the biggest like man-made forest, I think. Or man-made forest. forest. Like we, our, we have a lot of plant life everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh yes, 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 you know? yes, yeah. So we actually plant a lot of trees, but then like, I think that's also gonna be a thing where like legally all of us must be maintaining at least two trees. No, that's, if I was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was a president, I think I would make that a law. Definitely, because I'm I'm seeing a lot of new developments, right? Like mm-hmm. uh, in the country that don't have. Trees and I was when you're passing by such areas, then it's it's too hot because yeah. because they don't have trees. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. I, I think probably like you, you don't even need a big tree. Mm. You can just plant a cabbage. That can make like, uh, the environment like a little bit colder. Mm. You get what I'm saying. So um, yeah, if you're a random guy out there, I don't know, plant something. Start farming. You get what I'm saying. Even strawberries is okay. I, I will accept that if you're doing it for for the environment. For the future. You get what I'm saying. I'm so. That's what's happening, man. Um, How have things been on your side? I've been okay. You've been okay. I've, I don't know. I've, um, I've just been very grateful for the, uh, for the podcast. Amen. Y- you know what I'm saying? Uh, people, are, people are loving the content. Clips are going viral. Exactly. Like the random guys mm-hmm. are getting to the random world. They're coming to our world, which is beautiful. Yes. And uh, I really appreciate. I really appreciate the love. Mm-hmm. You can sometimes you get like uh, ten views. Sometimes you get hundred views. And you feel like it's not a lot of numbers. Mm. But you know what I think about? What do you think about? If I get like 10 views or like 10 people like the video, and then uh, I think about, is that a big number or a small number? But I'm like, what if it's 10 dudes beating me? <laughs> then, th- then you start to see how big that number is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that I, I just start to measure it in that way. So when you hit a million views, because you've hit a million views before, yes. you thought of a million people beating you. I thought about a million people just beating me. The shit out of you. You get what I'm saying? Like, damn, this, this is huge. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> so, 
this is love man uh, I, 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 I'm very grateful man I'm very grateful uh, because for me when I when, when this idea of a podcast came man I was I think I was just going through a lot in my in my own life why did you want to do a podcast I felt like okay I live by myself okay right I live by myself most of my, the time I'm just by myself and then I have these thoughts that sometimes like oh that's a good thought someone want to hear this thought so how about I just put this random thought just out there in the world, things that I'm thinking about. So you were talking to yourself and you felt like you were going crazy, so you thought you should just yes. put it out there instead of keeping it to yourself. Because I'm just by myself, I'm thinking about a cabbage. That's why some of your intrusive thoughts were like some of your thoughts on this podcast worry me. Why? I'm like these should be intrusive. Like when when you when you Why? When you were talking about like uh, the the circumcision thing, yeah, and I was not that I thought that it shouldn't be shared. Cause yeah, I did think it was an interesting story, but I was just concerned about that guy that circumcised other people i was like you know, why were you concerned about him because he should be in jail bro he really should and i'm i'm i every day just even thinking about that guy being free stresses me. no but he was a child he was not like yes, after he, you can there's no doubt in my mind that man has grown into a villain maybe it's just i i, I just think it was just an answer first child maybe it, that, that stuff like that happened and children learn they grow up and then they you do the things that i used to do as a child what is the worst thing you did as a kid? Ah, the worst thing I did as a child. What did I do? I don't remember. I have, like, I have not, I've, I've, I've not really like. What's one? Oh yeah, I remember now. Okay. I remember. So I once. Okay, I almost got banished. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> This guy. <laughs> no, you see now. I mean, no, sorry, sorry. I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> no, so I almost got banished, right, from the village. And the reason why for the reason for that was that I burned down the village. <laughs> like, not, not all of it. No, it was. The, the, no, it was just a little bit of a village. Not, not like all of it. <laughs> this guy. No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing. I, I remember something from earlier. You know, because so it was so I, I bent down the bush, right? So what happened was that my dad was busy with his. He was uh, he was fixing uh, a pig. So he he, he 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 was a pig farmer. Oh, okay. So he was fixing the the the, the shelter for the pig. Mm -hmm. He was so busy, and he, he just wanted me to be around to help him. But the thing is, he was not telling me to do anything. So I felt useless. So how can I make myself useful? Useful. Now, like you know what? Let me burn some trash. So as, I was, so as I was burning that trash, the fire got into the bush, uh -huh. and then the bush catches the fire, and then the whole bush goes down in fire, and then some spark went, caught some, and then it flied, and then it went to next to some... It flew over to some the neighbors? Yes. Oh, shit. And then there was some grass on top of the roof, and they started going up on flames. Uh -huh. And then the lady from that house, she got into the house, and then she took an ID and a blanket, and then she bounced. Huh? That's all she just took. Yeah, man, and, and then the house bent down. No, it didn't bend down. Likely the chief came, saw that, and then they came, and then they they, they stopped all this kind of stuff. But then, yeah, but then they, yeah, the, the fire, the, like they, they were, were able to contain the fire, mm -hmm. and then from there the community had a meeting, mm -hmm. so they wanted me out of the of the of the community. How old were you? I think I was I was nine, <laughs> <laughs> and the community didn't want me. So this guy is like. This. Because I, I've been I've been doing some other things other than that. Uh, I, I think that was the last like was, okay, this guy is gonna burn us alive right now. <laughs> so so that so that so that. You're a jinx, Jerry the Jinx. But I was a child. Yeah. That, that's the thing I'm saying. As children, we do these things that sometimes. We, I think that that's for me, now, I've been nine nine years old before. Yes. Yeah? And I never burnt down the village. You probably did something. But I I didn't burn down the village. You didn't have an, you, you didn't have an opportunity to burn down the village. You grew up in a city. Yeah, but I could burn down the city. If anything, there's more electrical shit in a city than in 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 the felt. It's a, it's probably harder to make a fire in the city than in the felt. So, and I got left alone. Hey, I shouldn't probably say this, but I got left alone a lot as a kid, like by hey, myself. And hey, you didn't do anything. And I never like there was never a pro there was one time I nearly killed myself. But oh. then outside of that, what did you do? I uh, I I've smashed my head on like a I said on a window. Yeah, and on the window, so and then like I cut open my head over here, and then I just like I just bled out, and then I woke up and yeah. I was fine, but then I didn't realize that like how bad it was. Oh, my mom came home, and then she saw it, and then she like because I was just drawing. Yes, and like that even the reason why I was going to get 
go there was to get some extra paper. Yes. And then I, like I hit my head and then I came back. And then my mom came and then she was like, why are you bleeding? I'm How much blood was there? That's the thing, I don't even remember. I think my mom cleaned me up before I even got to see myself. Did but they then, take you to, to the hospital? Then when I, w no, I didn't go to the hospital. Yeah. But then when I saw my pa my drawings later, yes. I saw all my drawings were just like filled with red. Oh. And I was like, oh shit, I was being, like, this was probably, How okay. but I didn't notice it. Didn't you feel pain? I, just, I didn't feel anything. Ah. But I just was like. No. Yeah. How can you not feel pain? I don't know, I think hated it. Wait, what? It's one of my best and worst qualities. Do you, do you feel pain now? Yeah, still, yeah. You sure? Don't hit me. No, 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 I was, I'm, I'm just asking. And you probably have village strength. I have a village what? Village strength. Village strength, what's that? It's like natural strength, like where like, because you grew up in a village, you're just slightly stronger than the average. No, there's no such a thing. There is. We, we, we're the same, man. We, we're just people. No, there's like people, like there's, there's village strength, there's ugly strength. What's ugly strength? Ugly strength is like, you know guys that like, are very unattractive? Yeah. They, pro they, they probably are stronger than most. What, okay, what's the difference? Because God has taken down their attraction. Yeah? So then, it's like, it's like haven't you had like, have you, have you ever played with cock? Can you? Yes, I played with cards. You played yes. with cards. Okay? Yes. But not like, like I mean trading cards, like Pokemon cards. Uh, or, what's that? Or, or like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh. So like in the game, now, when you're playing those like, those trading card games, or like the soccer cards, now, uh. okay, when you play on PlayStation, now, sure. your, some of the characters have higher ratings than other characters. Sure. Now, so then... Uh, yo, what was the point? Some of the ca the cards have yeah. better ratings than other ratings. Yes. So this one's attack ability is stronger, but because his attack ability has been so maxed out, yeah, his defense ability is weaker. Oh, okay. So it's that kind of thing. Whereas, like, as a, a an attractive person, because you're so ugly, yeah, God has to make up for it by giving you. No, but it's not, no. Just because I'm someone is ugly, that's, that's the thing. Then you're gonna assume that because someone is ugly, that they have extra strength. No, that. Does it make sense? Well, I, I, I like looking at it that way. Haven't you seen like ugly dudes get like lose in a fight? Weak and ugly. Yeah. Sure. I, I mean, it's a bad thing like to be in that situation, but there, it happens a lot. I mean, just because you're ugly doesn't mean you can you can beat me. Go to gym, get some strength. Don't don't just come here just because you have a tough face. Then you are tough. No, it doesn't <laughs> doesn't work that way. I will move you as skinny as I am. Tough face doesn't equal tough life. Definitely. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. Tough face can actually can equal tough life. Like, but it doesn't equal tough strength. Yes. Okay. I mean, because people, how they treat you when you yeah, are tough looking there. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you have a tough face. Yeah. You would probably have a tough life because, you know, uh, what's it? Thingy. Beauty privilege. Like, okay. The privilege of, yes. And, and then now, because you've lived a harder life in that regard. Oh. Now you've 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 grown a level of grit like you don't give up easily you work a little harder oh but and that's and like and i yeah. think that is more important in a fight yeah in strength at times because then a guy that's stronger than you yes he's, he'll beat you up yeah but then if you keep coming back yeah eventually you're gonna get that upper hand you know because you get what i'm saying but okay i think i get what you're saying reason being is like if because people it's, it's not just you have this ideology that like tough looking guys are like they can fight. Strong. So people who want to fight with someone, they will they they want to provoke someone who want to fight back. So if you are tough looking, people will want to fight with you. Mm -hmm. They want to test strength. Mm -hmm. Like can I beat this guy? And then now you are forced to live within that life of being strong. Of do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if that 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 makes sense. And no, I get it. I get it. I get it. You know. I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to decide. Have I lived a tough life? Have you ever beat, beaten someone? I've kicked someone in the head, but I've never beaten. Like I've never been in a full on oh. fight fight now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't like touching other guys like that. Oh man. No, I I'm 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 just scared of beating people. Why? Because I might kill them. Oh, like you're those people that like I saw red. No, I saw red. Mm. No, it's like I'm scared of beating some I'm scared of beating people because I can't fight with my hands. Uh -huh. I can't beat with my bare hands. So if you put my life in danger, then I may act I mean, I may use things. I can hit you with a chair or a, I don't know. You know, you, you, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I can take anything so that I'm, I'm defending myself. TLC. So that, that's why I'm scared of, I don't want to be in fights because I might harm you. Have you ever been in some? Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah. Okay. 
no, uh, uh, this dude was beating me and he gave me a clap. Mm. Right? And then his, thing, his thumb got on my mouth. Mm. Oh, I beat that thing. You beat the thumb? Yeah. What do you mean? I, I chowed. Oh, you stuff. beat the thumb. Oh, <laughs> but he beat me on, on my on my slap and then he got in my mouth. Then what what I supposed to do? He gave me. He, he presented his thumb on my mouth. And you just hung. And I, I chowed that thing. How do you taste? I mean, delicious. No, it it, it tasted like a thumb. Oh. Okay. You know how you like when you when you're a child you, you rip it off. What do you mean? Or like, did you did you like get into bone? Like how deep? No, but not not deep. Into, I don't think I have tough teeth. Uh-huh. But just kacha. But but you, you you could feel the pain. You know, like you, 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 could, you could feel the pain. And did you win the fight overall? I, I won the fight. Okay. No, he just stopped after that. Come on, I, he was he was injured. Ah, uh, okay. You know, but um, yeah. So that that's why I I, I don't like getting into fights because I, I remember one time right. I think I was in grade eight. Mm-hmm. I almost killed this dude. Oh shit! And it was uh he was he jumped on my back. It was just play. You, you, oh, it's like you guys were playing. Okay. Yes, but out of Norway. Wait, so, sorry, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. The, the, when you beat the other guy, do you remember why you beat him? Like, why was the fight? For? I don't even remember. Okay, cool, cool. We were just, we were just beating each other. Okay. Cool. We, were, we were at the back of a buggy coming from school. You were in a buggy? Yeah. And you were fighting already in the buggy? No, like, so we go on a, so this buggy is that, so we go to school in buggies that had a canopy at the back. And we're, we're sitting, they make a bench at the back of the buggy and we go to school. Okay. So we're at that back of the back, and then the fight just started, and then the fight just started. So every day it's fight club for you guys. No, it's not that day. I'm just in that day, not well, like every day. day. No, I'm a very chilled guy. I don't like I, like I said. I don't like getting involved in fights because I might become dangerous. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So so that I I don't, I don't want to fight with people. Okay. So so the guy that I almost killed, okay, not almost. Okay, he, okay. What happened was he jumped on my back, mm-hmm. and then I was scared. Like what's going on? Because I I'm very I get very frightened if mm-hmm. if there's danger in me. I'm like oh what's going on? And then. He jumped on my back and then I got scared and then I choked him with my elbow. Right? Mm. I, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I think I might have choked him for a wait, little bit too long. Too long. And then he fainted. He just fell down. I thought he was dead. I was so scared. I, mean, I was just like, I'm going to go to jail, man. I just picked his body like, like, like it's nothing. I took him to class and then he finally woke up, but he forgot what happened. Yeah. So, so he, 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 didn't he, didn't, he didn't snitch because he, yes. like, he didn't know what happened. He was like, yo, I fell asleep in mass. You know, was just like, so, so that was that guy, man. You know, so. Dang, Jerry. So, yeah, man. I don't want to fight. Just don't, don't. I don't want to fight with anybody. Just let That's me That's what be. I'm saying. You might have, you might have village strength, bro. No. See, the thing is, you haven't, unt- you haven't tapped into it yet because you're always like calm and chill. Okay. Because you want to get to that level. But you mm. don't know. And it's that thing of like most people are like that, that have that. Like ugly, uh, ugly people that have ugly strength yeah. are normally very chill generally because okay. they know they have ugly strength. So they, they don't tap. It's like the Hulk thing. Yeah. You know, like Hulk just becomes. Uh, like even people with like Down syndrome have that strength. Is it? Yeah. Oh, but like have you, have you had an arm wrestle with someone with Down syndrome? You'll lose, bro. And they have village strength, you know? Oh. Anything can happen. Hey, it happens, man. Mm. You know. But like, like it's that thing of like, hmm. there are certain people in this world that have just a little bit more strength and they don't even know how to tap into it. Maybe they shouldn't. Then they shouldn't. They most okay. likely shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, it has been... Uh, it's interesting, man. Uh, when you talk about just people in the villages, man. Mm. I remember for me... Um, there was this man. So his name was uh, Mr. Archibald. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Okay. So Mr. Archibald, he had a farm, right? He was a farmer, mm-hmm. and uh, he used to give me a job, and he would pay me like uh, with two sugar canes per week. Do you know how to spell Archibald? No, yeah, Archibald. A R. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, okay. A R C H I. Archie. Yeah, Archie. And then B. I don't know if it's O or A, but this bold there. Eh? Archie bold. Bold, like Bandler. I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Archie bold. Okay. So Mr. Archie bold used to give us like jobs, like, mm. you know, as, as kids. So you would just go there at his farm to guard, to guard against like a monkeys from eating his, his produce. You know what I'm saying? And Mr. Archie bold, he had a. He had a son, mm-hmm. right? His, his name was Soto. Soto. Soto, yeah. Soto. So Soto, but then Soto was, I think he was, uh, he was an illegitimate child. <laughs> How do you know? 
No, he, he used to just go to Mr. Achibald's house. Just we didn't know how he was related to Mr. Achibald. Okay. But he came from another village. So we just come to school holidays. So like, what's up with Soto? Why is Soto always here he's all the time? Off. You get what I'm saying? He's more off than on. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. But the way in which he's treated, he, Mr. Achibald treated him so nicely. You just give him like everything. Like, mm, what's up with this guy? Making up for lost time. This you get what I'm saying? Okay. But the thing is, uh, Soto, he was, um, he had, he had strong features. Mm -hmm. You know, me like. He had uh, very strong hands and legs. Mm. Like, if that guy touches you, you will feel like a man is touching you. <laughs> mm. You know, but... He wasn't, he wasn't like the older kids. He it, was the same age as you. No, nah, he was 16. And how old you? I uh, think I was... By that time, the time of this story that I'm about to tell you, I think I was 13. Okay. I was 13. And he still... It felt like a man. It if, if felt like a man would touch you. Okay. So, Soto... Soto, yeah. Soto was... Uh, he, was he, like, he was he, 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 he was very strong. And... I don't want to say Soto was dumb, but he was probably not the smartest guy in the room. Mm -hmm. And most of the rooms that he was in was full of dumb people. Mm -hmm. So Soto, one time we had a beef. Okay. Because he stole my SIM card. Oh, just the same? He took my phone and stole a SIM card and gave it to his cousin. <laughs> I don't know why he did it. Why just the same? I don't know. What was what phone was it? It was uh, Samsung something. I don't know some okay. some small phones. But he, 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 was it a bad phone that like he was like this phone is trash? So, I sort of didn't even have a phone to say my phone is trash. But he just stole the SIM. He just stole the SIM card, okay. and I will accuse him for being a thief. Mm -hmm. Then every time Soto sees me, he just wanted to beat me or some stuff like that. Like every time, every time it was me and Soto. And one time Soto was chasing me. We got into some bush, mm -hmm. and that dude he kidnapped me. Wait, what? Soto kidnapped you? Yeah. He stole you? Like, he was chasing me, I got into the bush, and then he followed me. When then Soto got inside, and then he tied me to a tree. You've been kidnapped before? Yeah. Was, and, well, he was another kid, so it was like, peer napped. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that, that's, yeah, that's peer napping. Okay, so, yo, my days. So that, we were just chilling in that bush, and he, like, he just, he left me there. He tied me with some, with some bush. And where did he take Bush things. He, you, so he tied you with like sticks and stuff? Yeah, stuff like that in the bush, and then I was just chilling there. Dang. Also, the fact that he knows how to tie up like a just nature, like, bro. Sure. No, that was that was sort of man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but that was sort of man. He that 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 that, that, that bro just did, tied me. Did he me. do anything to you? No, he just tied me, and I, I thought he was gonna beat him or something like that. No, he just he just he tied got you it. up and left. He just left. And then how did you escape? So they found me. <laughs> no, like so that bush was someone's farm. Uh, so they were like, hey, what's going on what's here? What's going on here? Yeah. And how, after how many days or hours? No, it was probably like three hours. And they were like, hey, yeah. you don't belong here. Like, what's going on? Yeah, they just found like, me tied no, to a so tree. The, did you tell? No, I couldn't tell. Why? <sighs> you stole your SIM card and then he tied you up, bro. I think you could have told. Or is it like in the village, it's not manly? No one cares. What are they going to do? Mm. So, so, so it doesn't even come from our village. We can't even banish him because he doesn't live here. <laughs> It's from like another village, so that's... What does banishment entail? Does that mean like you're not allowed to come back? Yes, like don't come back. back, get out of our village. Don't ever set your foot here. And then, can you go to another village or do they tell people in other villages? No, you can go to another village as long as they don't know. But if they know, then they'll be like... Hey, this one is, is a problem. He's a, he's a banishy. Yeah. So get out of our world. Okay. That's what they say. Oh. But yeah, man, uh, we're in the world. We're in the world. Let's go to the shops. We and, and and we're not banished here. This is random, guys. We don't banish people. We yeah. don't understand them. We try and build community here. If you burn down a bush, we want to know why you did it. You know, we talk to our people. We figure it out. Thank you. Hey, guys. It's Comedy Shorts Gamer. No, it's not. It's Khabani Muloy here. Ready to just tell you that even though we do random-ish on the random podcast, you know, with the random guys, that doesn't mean you guys are just going to get a freebie. You have to, have to, have to support the team. Because I can see a lot of you guys haven't liked, shared, or subscribed. So please, could you firstly do that? Definitely like, share, and subscribe so that you can be a part of the Awesome Random Guys team. And uh, secondly, uh, we've got some things to promote. Firstly, um, we have uh, Monday Night Comedy every Monday night in uh, Sixes. Wait, Sixes? Yeah, Sixes Cocktail Bar. Uh, we want to make sure that you guys come through, check out our comedy. It has happens every Monday, 8 o'clock. So definitely be there. 
because uh, we love to have you guys and we have different acts always popping up like Jerry Mix, Banky or myself so peace come to that and then we also have Kitchener's Comedy Bar Night every Tuesday every no I'm lying every every Wednesday at 8 o'clock so please pull up to that as well same vibes as the Monday night but it's Kitchener's so you know crazy shit is gonna go down so uh, 8 o'clock every Wednesday at Kitchener's I'll be there, Jerry will be there, and a bunch of other crazy acts. The first night we had Robbie Collins, the second night we had him on my table. It's, it just gets crazier and crazier. So if you're not there, you're weird. You're, you're definitely not a random guy. So please be a random guy or girl. And then finally, I have a podcast coming soon on Spotify. It's the first episode drops on the 2nd of December. It is me and my sister uh, talking about the trials and tribulations of navigating this new world and the old world. Um, it's called it's a brother and a sister podcast and uh, yeah 2nd of December so you can check us out on Instagram and all the other social media it's a brother and a sister podcast uh, with Bobby Muloy and Khabani Muloy yeah uh, now off to Jerry Jerry do you have anything to promote? yeah man uh, yeah man um, I'm in the world mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and I, I wanna be I wanna be in your world so the shows that Khabani talked about they are in in Johannesburg yes sir so if you're in Johannesburg do that random thing. Uh -huh. Come to shows. Come. But if you are in any city that you are in, Cape Town, mm -hmm. Kabeha, Deben, Bulukwane, Nairobi, mm. yo, tell me to come. Please do. Like, I, I, I will be there. You will. You, you, you got what I'm saying? We, we, we are doing random things, man. Uh, yeah. Stand up comedy, beautiful. If you got a baby shower, Okay, don't invite me for baby shower. I don't know. Or maybe do, you know? We never know. What if your kid wants to become one of the random guys? Oh, yeah. You've got a random baby coming? Ah. You know what? Good idea. We will be there. I just thought about that right now. Yes. We will be there. We will. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Random babies, random podcasts, random guys. Random everything, random life, random world. Mm -hmm. We in the world, baby. We in the world. Love. True. Love. Love. Yeah. And we're back at the random guys. Yeah. My name is Khaban Muro. This is Jeremy Spanky. And, uh... You know what I realized? Yeah. I just, I skimmed over that, um... Part where you were talking about. They paid you in sugar cane. Yeah. Or how many? Two. Only two. And then you had to do all that work. No, but we were having fun. We'd just be chilling, probably playing soccer and stuff there. So they just paid us to be there. And it, it, it wasn't just sugar cane. Sometimes they give us lunch. What lunch? No, bread and butter, like maybe like jam or margarine and stuff I like that. I think they were exploiting you, bro. No. It, I've it, been exploited before. It's okay. No, but it, it wasn't. it wasn't... Okay, at, at that point in time, those were the very good employee benefits. Sugar cane? Yeah. Only? No, with lunch and like breakfast sometimes. So you're living, you're living the dream with sugar cane? That was the best. Mm. No, the, the, but kids actually used to go to Mr. Archibald's farm to steal sugar cane. So we didn't have to steal. They would just give us. Uh, nah, dog. I think you had been cheated, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hey, man, it's okay. At least you've learned. Okay, what would have been a better remuneration? Money. Okay, I would have done drugs probably if they gave me too much money. <laughs> Sugar cane, come on. Do they, this might be an ignorant question, and I'm sorry if it comes across this way, but uh, do they have drugs in villages? E not had drugs. Yeah, because drugs are very expensive to even obtain. Yes. So, like, when I'm thinking about it, it's like, what drugs would they have? Okay, so they like were. Weed, I'd understand. There's weed. Okay. And then there's tobacco. Okay. Like, you know that BB on a packet? There mm -hmm. should be like a yellow BB thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But you smoke with a newspaper. Got you. So they will have that. And there was, there was this dude. His name was Marindi. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. So he used to, he used to, he used to sniff uh, glue. Oof. Glue for shoes. You know that yellow glue for shoes that they use? Uh, yes. Yeah. He, he, he used to like sniff that thing and just have... Rock. Yeah, and uh, he'd give, get him high. I don't know, but he enjoyed that. He was very addicted to that thing. At uh, what age? Very young. He was my peer. I think. Oh, so he was your homie. I think from from, from primary school. Not not my homie. Uh -huh. No, we in the we in the same school. We just knew that Marindi. Uh, he's the glue guy. He's the glue guy. Okay. And I think, I think I think I think by the time I left that village, three of the guys were now in the in, into the glue. In the glue. Nice. Yeah. So I, I was. They were in a sticky situation. They're very sticky, like mm. like that, literally. Like. It's getting sticky. So, um, shame, man. I hope no one, anyone on the Random Guys podcast, if you ever thinking of smoking glue. Yeah. Don't. Oh, by the way, I, I I had a roommate at the university. 
who used to sniff benzene? Which university did you go to? Vet University. Oh, okay, that's fine. Why? Ah, those kids are stressed out, bro. But there was there was no reason for him to like. He could have just smoked weed. That's fine. Yeah, but what was he studying? He was studying actuarial science. Actual, ac- yeah, I know he needed that benzene. <laughs> Why? Dog, that's a hard I, look. I don't even know where to start with that. I did art. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Jesus. But there's never a reason to smoke. Okay, he could have done like normal drugs, man. Just do normal drugs. What are normal drugs? I don't know. Honestly, anything that you're putting in your body to make you feel like you should be okay. Yeah. You, should, you probably shouldn't be like doing that thing. Okay, but then why? Because, bro, like. Well, what if you have a headache? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm still. I'm, like, I'm sticking to what I'm saying. Okay. It's just like artificial things that we're putting into our bodies. Yeah. All of these things are probably problematic. Look, actually, let me let me stop myself here because now I can see myself advocating for drugs and I, I shouldn't be. Please don't. But yeah, some people, man, I can tell like yo, you need like bro. If you think actual sciences, I feel like you should be recommended benzene, bro. No. No, I've never done actual sciences, so. You don't do it because you're probably gonna end up in benzene. benzene yeah. yeah, please, yeah. please. Yeah, like, yeah. I, you are better off not. Do you smoke any other stuff? No, I don't do any drugs. Oh, that's I don't good. drink or smoke. Oh yeah, anything. but that's because I, I I did enough in high school. What What are you doing in high school? A lot, bro. Like, well, not a lot. Let me not say a lot, but I I I put myself in very compromising positions because of the things I was doing in high school. Okay. Because of that. Like, I, I nearly had a kid in high school, bro. Nearly had a kid? In, like, yo, I was so... What do you mean, nearly had a... No, okay, you mean, like, you made, nearly made someone pregnant? Yes. Oh, okay. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm clearly not responsible enough to be doing this nonsense. Let me leave it alone. What happened? I nearly had a kid. How? I nearly got someone pregnant. Did you do the thing? We did the thing. And the thing is, I don't remember us doing the thing. What? So then that's why, after that... Were you on drugs? Exactly. Oh. And then I was like, yo, this is hectic. And like, I, I felt so vulnerable in that moment. And I was like, I'll never do this stuff again. So Damn. I, I stopped. No, nice. I stopped because, hey, imagine. Now I have a kid that I must abandon because I don't, I don't, you know. What do you mean? You don't know. Just because you have a child. As, okay, why do you mean a child you must abandon? Doesn't, isn't that how it works? No, you, you, you have a child and you take care of the child. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, Yes, where are you getting these ideas? Because, like, in the circumstance of the, of of the of of how the child was conceived, what if you don't even know how the child was conceived, uh, you're probably not gonna be a good dad for that child. You can learn how to be a good dad. Yeah, but it's yo. Next, like sometimes look at that point. I don't think I would have been able to do what I needed to. Be. What would have been missing? A lot. Just a lot. Like, uh, the person I am now, yes. even though I do not want a child, if I have a child accidentally now, yeah. I'll take care of it. But back then, hey, dog, I was too, oh. I was too loosey-goosey with it, bro. No, I was loosey-goosey with my life. So never mind that. that okay, that, someone's that, life. Yo, I was just, but maybe that, that would have changed you to be... Better. Okay, well, how old were you? How old are you in grade 11? Uh, 16, 16, 15. That, yeah. Oh no! I think you 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 you're too young for that. Maybe, maybe your family would have like you know, taken care of that. Like you don't have to be. You don't have to be a dead. Deadbeat. No. You don't have to be a deadbeat. Uh, you know that's one thing that I appreciate with my family. They're very they're very um, caring. Okay. Because they always say like if you became a deadbeat. Yeah. We'd fo- we'd find the child and we'd raise take care of the child. Yeah, yeah. Without you. Mm. And I've always been like yo, that's yo. Yeah, man. Like so, I'm. Um, uh, I'm grateful for, m- for my parents, by the way, because mm-hmm. I think my parents also, they had me when they were like, when they were very young. How young? Yeah. Um, early 20s, late teens, somewhere there, 1920, 1920, somewhere in the borderline, I don't know. How? The parents didn't have, 1920? Yeah. Is when? No, I mean the ages that they were. Oh, that's when they were born? Yeah. No, that's when they, the age, when they made me, when I was born, they were at that age. 1920? Yeah. But you're 24? Yeah. Your parents made you when, in 1920? No! What are you saying? <laughs> My parents made me when they were 19. Oh, they were 19 yes. and 20. Yes. I thought you made in the 1920s your parents <laughs> made you. No! Sorry, how does, my bad. That's that, a miscommunication. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. But I mean, like, they were very, like, young, young parents. 
Mm-hmm. You know, my dad could have been like, no, I, I can't deal with it. Your, your, my your mom. mom was 19. Yes. At least a girl that's a young man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, but then my dad was there. Uh-huh. You, you get what I'm saying? But, but I, I don't think my dad knew what he was doing. But the circumstances were also different between your dad and your mom. Why? Because, like, you guys were getting paid in sugar cane. So it was a bit like, in that situation, it's like, you can't have a kid at 19 and 20. What? Because, I mean, the crops are growing. So, it is, okay. you know, business is booming. I mean, yes, I mean, like, yeah, I, th- I think it's okay. I think it's easier to raise a child in in the villages yes. because it's less likely for a child to starve. I mean, there's a community. The community yeah. communities are available, and we have crops. Yeah. So then, then you're able to feed like a uh, feed, feed like a child. Yes. You get what I'm saying? But I think it's not just about food, of course. But because because for me, I feel like my parents, they didn't know what they were doing in terms of being parents, but they made sure that I don't die. Okay. They they, they, they weren't teaching me things how to do things as a person, like in life, because they, they were they were young. They were in their twenties. They're figuring out life so they're not, themselves. They're not teaching you how to develop a personality. They're just making sure that you're not dead. I I don't die. I have shelter. I have food. They're just there, like not teaching me any lessons. Like whatever that, that I'm there, I'm just figuring it out. What in the world? But the thing is, as an adult now, I understand them. Mm-hmm. They were young. They were figuring out what. They were figuring out life. Because right now, if also I become a father right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the kid. Yeah. But you're making money. We're, it's, 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 you're here in the nice house with your cameras recording us. You're doing well. It's not just about the money. Okay. Because I don't think raising a child is all, it's all like money is it's, it's necessary because the child is gonna die. I I think even the people that you consider are the best parents in the world yeah. are a little worried and they're a little stressed out. You, At yeah. the end of the day, like you always have that bit of hesitation of being a father or a mother. Being a parent is stressful. Yeah. But I think if you didn't have that stress, yeah, it would be more concerning. Definitely. You know, so okay. I think, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think you have the good mind. You have the right mindset, and you're in the right position. Because people, bro, I hear stories about people that are making like an inch of the money you're making. Yeah. And they're ma- they're feeding eight kids, bro. So feeding how many? Eight. Eight kids. Mm. Oh, man, I can't feed feed two kids. Exactly, bro. But the thing is, the lifestyle you would want for your kid. Yes. This is the lifestyle they are okay with. Okay. You know. They're 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 feeding their kids one sugar cane. Maybe half each. Not in this age, man. You get what I'm saying? It's mm. better. That's what they're doing. Ah. It's sad, but you know, we live in the times. So speaking about, um, we were talking about. What are we talking about? We're talking about like you don't know what you do. Yes. You were a parent because when your parents were, they were just trying to make sure you don't die. Yes. Do you? What do you think if you did die? What would you be in rock, reincarnated as? Do you believe in reincarnation? No. No. If I'm dead, I'm dead. What do you? Mean? You don't think you come back? Come back and do what? Like as another like animal, an insect. Uh, that well, no. You just do this forever. That's stupid. I don't want to just be Hawaii forever, bro. What do you want to be? It's not anything. Okay. I, I, okay. Do you believe in that? I don't. I don't really believe in it. Would but you? Wa- I, I do have a theory that whatever you, whatever thing you feared the most. Yeah. You uh, you were, your past life was that thing. Like my biggest fear is snakes. Snakes, yeah. Yeah. So I think maybe in my past life I was probably a snake. You were a snake. Yeah. Because I, I I'm terrified of snakes. Every, Why? Every like every time I see a snake, I get paralyzed. I can't even move. Are you serious? Every time. Why? If I, like, I don't, oh, I don't. you you know what what what? If you were in my position, you would you would be dead by now. What do you mean? One time, right? Mm-hmm. I was going back to sleep at night. And then, I I I. I when I was a child, I didn't make up my bed. Mm-hmm. Right, one time I went to sleep. I got in the bed. I just got back to where, where it was, and then I felt something moving under my pillow. All right, and then I took that pillow. I'm like, "What's this?" And there was just a snake there, just chilling, man. Yo, it didn't bite you nothing. No, it was just chilling there. Yo. Sure. Yeah, and then it just went under the bed. And then I went to call my dad, and then he came, and then we, yeah, he found it. You sorted it out. Yeah. So I'm just thinking about you. If you were in that position, you were just gonna freeze. I would be frozen. Oh, you 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 were gonna die. I'd probably cry. And I don't think you're gonna sleep ever again. Yeah, no. Because now you, because I, 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 I do have that trauma of just like if I feel some, something. Something. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir, so, bro. So. I'm so sorry that happened to you. No, nah, I'm tough. You see, the village strength. What do you mean? No, I'm just like I'm. It's fine. It happens. I, I, I accept life as it is. You see, I, I, I would hold that against my parents for the rest of my life. What? How'd you let a snake come in this crib? No, it was my fault. Cause I didn't make it my bed. <laughs> And I probably had uh, so I so I didn't close the door. You see that? See things like that. Uh, like that's the difference between you and I. Why? So, like when uh, growing up, and I didn't make my bed. 
Yeah. I didn't make my bed. That's the end of the story. If you didn't make my bed, this is a life and death situation. Yeah, no one cared. It's just that, like, they didn't care that I make my bed or not. Right. It's just that if something goes wrong, like, you see now. That's the thing. They wouldn't complain about it. They're so like, happens when you don't make your bed? Yes. Wait, do you make a bed now? Yeah, I do. Oh, nice. I do, I do. But uh, I don't like doing it. Then why do you do it? Because it's the right thing to do. According so to I'm, I'm, To me, like, I'm oh, okay. to practice, like, do the things you don't want to do. Okay. Like every Saturday, I go on a, a Saturday run. Oh, okay. I start, I'm starting to go to the gym now. Like I'm actively trying to do the things I don't like to do because I want to be. I just want to practice better habits. You, dude, okay. You just are you testing yourself if you can be disciplined. Yes. This oh, is okay, 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 okay. I, 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 I get that. What, what do you want to do with the discipline? I wanna, I wanna be the best male version of myself because I want people to come to me. Yeah. And they like i have things to offer the world not the other way around i don't need things from this world the world needs things from me and can you elaborate on that so oh this is actually leads to the next question yeah next to, how do you feel so yeah how do you feel about girls shooting their shot i love that you love it i love that That's like i i love that like yeah. if if a girl is shooting a shot then like i'm certain she wants me Mm-hmm. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's that. There's not a lot of stuff have, I need to do. Have you ever gotten a girl to shoot a shot at you? Yeah. How did that go? Oh, man. Mm. Take your time. No, it uh, didn't end well. It, like, uh, it was probably my longest relationship that I was in. Uh huh. And uh, it ended very badly. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, it was. Did yeah. You, you ended it. Yeah, uh, we ended it. Like, it was on and off thing. Oh, okay. You end up, she ends it, I end it, and then I just got in a point like, you know what, I'm done with this. This is ridiculous. This yeah. is, but yeah, it was probably the toughest relationship I was ever in. Mm. Maybe it was because I felt, I felt like because she came to, she's the one who shot her shot to me. She liked me so much. Then you know, then I was too, I was too free, I was too vulnerable. Uh, I just let it be. Like you know what, this this is the best relationship that I'm in right now. This yeah, person wants me. I felt that before. There's nothing worse than losing someone that liked you first. Yeah. Yo, that feeling sucks. Because I was, I was minding my business. I was living my life. Mm-hmm. And then you come into my life and then you do this to me. Mm-hmm. And you're just going to go. Ah, man. But, but yeah, it, like, yeah, it happened. So, mm-hmm. you know. So. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no. I, I, um, I think women should start shooting their shots more. Okay. What are your reasons for that? Uh, firstly, it makes everyone more comfortable. Okay. Guys, when they shoot their shot, yeah. they either do way too overboard. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or it's it's we just don't know how to hit the mark. Yes. Whereas with a girl, a girl doesn't have to do much to show okay. that she's interested, and a guy will then pursue after yes. that. It's a bit easier. Uh, secondly, but the problem is that okay, yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem is that guys sometimes are less likely to say no. Yeah. Even if they are not interested. You'd say no to a girl that you're not interested in. Not me, but I've seen guys do that. They'll they be like, oh, because most guys, maybe they're not getting attention. And then any girl who's going to come to them, they'll be like, oh, hey, let's rock. Jeez. But, they, they, but then it, in that situation, he wants to. It's not like he sounds forcing him to. Okay. But then the guys will just accept anything then. I don't know. Well, yes, you're right. But I also feel like eventually over time if yeah it keeps happening like that yeah. eventually guys will have better standards oh, okay the thing is there's the the, the 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 thing of desperation yes where like guys are like this is my only chance okay and then they'll say yes hmm. and they never guy like today someone macked on you tomorrow someone macked on you day after someone like now you're like Wait. actually this person's eyes is a bit too far apart yeah let me actually look at you and see what i'm saying yes to hi mm-hmm Okay. Yeah. Because I yeah, yeah, yeah. have that ability. Yeah. Yeah, the privilege, I guess. Okay. No, that, that, that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, that being said, how would you feel about a girl proposing? Proposing like for marriage? Yeah. Oh, n- no. What? Nah. No. I w- <sighs> you love her? Okay, we've been dating for quite some time. Quite, quite some time. And she's just like, you know, I, I can see he has cold feet. But he does love me. Okay, I, I appreciate it if she gives me hints that she's ready to get married. Or we talk about it. But out of nowhere, I'm minding my business and then she gets on her on knees in public. Oh, no. No. I, I don't think... I, because I need to be ready my, myself. Because I think I need to get my life together. Boom. Sugar cane, baby. Mm, what? Sugar cane, baby. 
sugar cane. Take a little bit of this candy, baby. Oh, know? candy. I thought you said it's sugar cane. Yeah, I did say sugar cane, <laughs> but like a candy. You know, like a candy ring. You know those ones? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like it's a real ring now. Oh. Like, boom. Because I think. Jerry McSpanky, <laughs> I would like you to take your hmm. spanky nature. No, I feel like I'm dis- uh, she's dis- disrespecting me. Is it? Is she. Like I'm, I'm not man enough. Why? Like, oh, what if you this? Like, what if you are the best? She's doing it because you are the man. Like she realized, hey, that's yeah, you're the trophy. Okay. You are the like you are a like you're everything I've ever wanted. I don't want to lose you. So you know, before you start getting yeah. on other girls, let me just okay, okay, okay. If I've been thinking about it, maybe uh-huh. then yes. Yeah, let her propose. If I've been thinking about it, I've reached this. You know what? I want to marry this girl. But if that's the first time I'm hearing about it. You're catching me off t- to guard, like no, cause catching me too off guard. I don't know, but there's something, someone catching someone off guard. Yeah, I I don't want that done. Would you accept that proposal? Yes, but you'd what have, you'd have to make it fun. You'd have to make the proposal fit my vibe. Okay. You know Do you have like a expectations on how that proposal should, should Not be? Not like? necessarily just as yet, but like I like. <laughs> You have to make it a Habani proposal. Okay. That, like, it will require, like, don't do the whole get down on one knee thing. Okay. Like, do you know how cool it would be if, like, you, you and I were in the middle of, co- like, we were rocking each other? Yeah. And then at the end, like, you feel like I'm trained. Yeah. Right? And then you just come out with the ring. Yeah. And it's like, will you marry me? It's like, damn. No, you're too vulnerable at that point in time to make such strong decisions. Yeah, but that's the best. Like, wow. Is that your vibe? Oh, 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 oh. Like, do you, have you ever... Or maybe buy me land. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. If, if, oh, if a lady buys me land, yeah. Bought me land. Yo, that's... Oh, that, okay, that... Oh, my God. And then you proposed. Yeah. On the land, it says, like, you, you grew a bunch of cabbages and it's, it's shaped, like, will you marry me? Yes. Okay, no, no. That, that, that can I, tempt me. That can tempt oh, me. Oh, that's sexy. That's tempting. That's what tempting. What do you mean, That's brother? tempting. Like... Or even on some like fun vibes, bro. Like we like we go to like go through city. Okay. And after we finish all the rides, like we know each other now. And then now it's just like there's only one ride we need to do Nef together. Oh. Yeah. Boom. But then do you want that thing to happen in the presence of other people? Or you just want the two of you to be? Other there? people don't really matter. I don't I'm not really concerned about the other people. If there are other people, okay. I will say yes in front of the other people. If I don't like you. Yes. No matter what will happen, I will say yes. No. No, because I don't want. I just. I'm. I'm considerate, but I just don't want to embarrass you in front of other people. Th- then that's more embarrassment because now people are gonna ask that person. Oh, how is it good? They're gonna now you have to tell everyone one by one that oh that thing didn't so go. So I just say no one time. Yes. They, you you wanna deliver bad news as early as possible. Mm. If if ever in life you wanna deliver bad news, do it as early as possible. You think? So? Because the person will think that yes, then now the person is is way too happy right now. So if I if I if. If I hooked up with your girlfriend, yeah, you don't want me to tell you me. Tell me, tell me as early as possible. Okay. But j- maybe just don't do that. But no, I won't do that. Obviously. Yeah, but I'm saying like if they were like a bad. <clears throat> what if like, damn? But what if it's too soon? Like, what if we're in the middle of something? Okay, well, yes. I mean, if we're in the middle of something, like it's an inappropriate time. It's like, hey, by the way, like while we're shooting the party. Yes. Hey, thought, by the way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that, that's, that's just bad timing. Uh-huh. No, but you need, be, you, need, you need to be considered, but at the earliest, the earliest time possible, you do that. Okay. But, but with the proposal, I think the earliest time, the best time is during that. Just don't accept it. Mm-hmm. Don't say yes to think. Okay, because that's just lie. Okay, actually, don't lie. Let me see. You, you, you can avoid telling, you can maybe, not say avoid telling the truth. Just you don't lie. I, th- I think the best people don't lie. Don't say yes to things that you're saying no to. Mm-hmm. And don't say no to things that, things that you're saying yes to. Have you ever cheated? Cheated? What does that mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. What does that mean? No, I want to know. Okay, what is cheating? Yeah, what is cheating, Jerry? <laughs> what is cheating? No, I'm asking you. Yeah, I'm asking you. No, I'm, you tell me. Have you ever cheated? What is that? Oh, okay. You're the one bringing it about cheating. Okay. I'm just a chill guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, That's yeah. Certain mistakes happen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you can be walking. What mistakes have happened in your life? No, you can be walking in a park and then you're like, hey, you know. Group, hey, sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, probably somebody like, uh, 
No, man. I got, I got, look, you had random guys, we don't cheat. That is true. Yeah. That is very true. Cheating is just like, oh. I have yet to ever cheat. I don't want to ever cheat. Yeah. I've thought about it. And? I haven't done it. Oh, that's good. But the reason why, sometimes I worry that the reason why I haven't cheated is not necessarily for my partner. Yes. Uh, It's for myself. Okay, good. Because I can't mentally handle it. It's a lot. It's a lot of like the the lie already is. I'm yeah. not good at lying. Yes. Especially for long, um, and then I'm terrible at like the anxiety I feel. Yes. When I like do bad things. Yeah. I can't, I've never cheated purely because I don't think I'd be able to look at a person. No, no j- don't do exactly. it. Don't do it. Have you ever done it? Yes. I'm. I'm a, I'm a part of it. I'm not saying you're proud it's, of it. Sometimes it, you gotta talk about it. It's it's mentally draining. Mm. Cause now you gotta delete stuff. Like you, you, you now you just have to be lying, all this kind of stuff. And sometimes you forget your lie. Yeah, and I'm good at forgetting a lie. You, I, I'm good with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a storyteller, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's, I'm scared of myself. I'm scared of myself. <laughs> I'm so good at it that I'm I'm so committed. Mm. If I have a storyline, I'm I'll be committed to that storyline. The village strength, the and, village lies. And, the, and the, <laughs> It just gets draining because I, if I, if I want to do something, I, I want to execute it properly. You know that's one thing I've actually learned. Hey? Yeah. People that come from small towns, like they're not from Joburg. Yeah. I have the best Joburg hustle. Have the best. They can do that things. They're very like. What? You know, Where you getting this information? No, I'm not. I'm the, from the people I've experienced. Like when I meet people that come from Durban, and yeah. Stuff, they come from, then then they come to Joburg, bro. They just move fast. Like whenever. That's what that's what they're here for, yes. Yeah, but that's so that's <laughs> they, they move faster than the people that are from the city. Because you're and, just at, at, at home. Yeah, we're at home. We're still chilling. Yeah. But then when other people come to Joburg and they're like, yeah, Joburg energy is is supposed to be this. It's big city life. You know? Yeah. It's like no, you guys are bringing your small city ideas to the big city. <laughs> what do you and mean? It's, like, and it's, it's this. But she, but no, no, so we can't even dream anymore. No, you can dream, but you guys are not bringing dreams. You're bringing nightmares to the city. Why? But what the eight people especially? In fact, you know, this is a PSA, PSA announcement to okay. anyone from PTA. Pretoria people, yeah, stop it. What are they doing? Just stop it. Stop what? All of. Stop, stop what? Stop it now. What are they supposed it's to stop? It's disgusting. And what would you say if your mother was only doing what you did? Stop that Doing shit. what? Anyway. What happened? No, they know what they're doing. Hey. UJ people also. Jesus. That's a story for another day. What's going on? I appreciate the fact that you went to VITS, eh? Like, I, look, I'm a dropout. Yeah, I didn't, wait. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do the whole thing. Why? What happened? Ash dog, your COVID. No. Okay, COVID is gone. Would yeah. you go back? Would I go back? Yeah. Ah dog. No. Okay. What happened in COVID? That mean like, bro, like everyone was getting sick and like yo. And what did I do to school? Bro, social distancing and then. There's a whole thing. Do it. Weren't you there in COVID 2020? Yes, I was studying. I got you got vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. So you understand. What do you mean? Oh, okay. No, how do you quit school? Why, why did you quit school? Bro, why does anyone do anything, bro? COVID, it was a hectic thing. No, you can't blame everything on COVID. Of course you can. You got AIDS? <laughs> COVID. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, why? Because COVID has nothing to do with... I thought you said you're a good storyteller. You said that you've cheated before. Y- y- you could have been like, oh, babe, it was COVID. That's a bad lie. Yeah. Uh, you gotta come up, come, up, come up with a legitimate lie. Come up, come up with, with, with the real life. Something like, I think you could use COVID for any excuse. You just got to be a little more creative. But generally, I think you should use And that's what I hate with cheaters who are terrible at lying. Like, if you're, you're going to lie to me, respect me. Cook, ever, cook a story. Have you ever been cheated on? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if, 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 if you cheated on me, don't tell me. I don't want to find out. You know? Congratulations. If you cheated on Jerry Mix, thank you. He still doesn't know. Let him live his peace. Don't oh, you gonna pay the price. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, um, you you gonna pay the price. You know what I'm saying? Time, no, shout out. La, have a good life, actually. Mm. Have a good life, man. Um, have a good life. If yeah. You don't, Jerry, have a good life. Have a good life. I, I hope I, I hope you live long to have a good life. I hope you just wake up in the morning and you, you, smelling the roses. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But one day, your favorite dish. You eat your favorite dish, man, and it wouldn't it won't taste nice. You know? Malmokhol is just 
Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So one day you, you, you eat lasagna and uh, it's going to taste like pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't sound too bad. I like pineapple. The point is, just be confused with your life. Mm. You don't know if your good life is good or bad. Hope you, all your meals are just a random shit show. Yeah. Speaking about random shit show. This was random, guys. We in the world, man. Oh, by the way, this is the last episode for the year 2024. 2024. Yeah. Amazing year. It was a random year. I accomplished my dreams. Oh, man. You accomplished yours. Yeah. Same with them. Started random guys, man. Right, we in the world. What have you guys started? You know what I'm saying? Leave that in the comments. Have you started something this year? Did you end something this year? Are you planning on doing something this year? We still have a month left. So we really hope that we see you do amazing things for 2024. Um, and beyond. And beyond. Shout out, happy, you know, happy 2025, Merry Christmas, mm -hmm. happy Hanukkah, happy uh, the Amish day, happy uh, Momish day. Have a good life. Have a great life. Have a great life. Jerry McSpanky. Random guys. We in the world. At all times. I love you guys. Me too.